Hey, this is Steve from Sparky's Garage. We got the 5.0 Mustang out. I uh, went ahead and left the car cover on it. It's a little windy today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go underneath it. We're gonna change out the fuel filter because it probably hasn't been done in a really long time. Uh, I'm just guessing by the tune-up we did on this thing, the plugs on them are really, really old. So I'm assuming that fuel filter hasn't been changed in a really long time. So we got the car up in the air. Let's go underneath it and check it out. All right, here is our old fuel filter. And you got basically a hose clamp. We're gonna undo that hose clamp and then take off the two clips on each side of the filter and then make sure you get something to catch the fuel that's gonna be coming out. And then we're gonna go ahead and replace our uh, fuel filter with the, the new uh, motorcraft we got here. Okay, so we got the worm clamp loosened. You wanna loosen it all the way to where you can actually pull it out. Just go ahead and remove that. And then now your filter here be free in the housing yep okay now we're gonna go ahead and take off these two clips and basically you gotta just pinch them and then pull it off All right. oops I got it on me okay Oh, down my shirt. No, no, no. Okay, this is the clip that you gotta pry off the uh, fuel filter hose. Take a little flat blade screwdriver. And you gotta just carefully work it left to right, and then this thing will finally pop off. But if yours is like mine, original from 1990, this thing is very brittle. So I already broke one of these. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to go to the auto parts store and find one. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this uh, hose clamp, and then we're going to go ahead and put on the new fuel filter. And I went ahead and marked a date on the backside, so I at least know how old my fuel filter is. Alright, we got our hose clamp in place. We're going to go ahead and put our filter on. Now, the filter has got this arrow right there. You want to make sure this is going towards the motor. So this hose right here, this goes towards the motor. This hose right here goes back into the gas tank. And then I went ahead and marked it with a date on there. So I remember, next time, when I go to service this, I can see the, the date. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide the hoses on, reinstall these plastic clips, and just basically push it down and it locks it in place. Now if you're like me, and you're changing out this fuel filter, and you have the original clips, they will break. So I broke one clip. So you want to make sure you go to the auto parts store, and you can pick up this Dorman assortment pack fits 5 16 and 3 8 hose so we're gonna go ahead and replace that clip our fuel filter we have a 5 16 hose so i use the 5 16 uh, clip i'm just gonna push it in and make sure it locks in all the way and then just check it and yep it's locked in perfect replacement now you can also see on this side uh right there there's that date so if I ever need to remember. Uh, other than that, everything else kind of looks good. You want to make sure you just do a little visual inspection. Kind of just feel the hoses. Um, mine all seem to be pretty good. Surprisingly. Alright. New uh, filter is on. Hose is back on. And the clip's back on. We're going to go ahead and just turn the key to the on position. This will basically prime the filter and we'll check for leaks. All right, that wraps up the video on the fuel filter. Make sure you like the video, so subscribe, and stay tuned for the next episode where we're gonna be tackling the rear shocks on this five liter Mustang.